lecture number four. Let's see. A and B already discussed. Here we will discuss about calling sequence and access links. So first we will discuss about calling sequence. So processor calls are implemented by what are known as calling sequence, which consists of code that allocates an activation record on a stack and entered information into its field. A return sequence is similar code to restore the state of the machine so the calling procedure can continue its execution after a call. So here we will learn how the sequence of calling of procedure is used. So here we have one example and uh, this is the division of task between caller and callee. So uh, this example so how caller and callee might cooperate in managing the stack suggested in uh, figure 7.7. .7. Here we have control link, temporary or local data, parameter of return value. So control link can control this part link which is to be saved, temporary and local data here. So this is the one snapshot, this is the another snapshot or you can say that here we have the set of data. So register top underscore sp points to the end of the machine status field in the current top activation record. And this position within the callee activation record is known as caller. So the caller can be made responsible for setting top underscore sp that is the stack pointer top underscore stack pointer before control is passed to the callee. So here you can see that caller's responsibility and callee responsibility is here and caller's activation record and callee activation record. So this is the activation record. This part is the uh, caller, callee activation record and upper part is not the call, caller's activation record. Okay. So now the calling sequence and its division between caller and callee is as follows. So, first the caller evaluates the actual parameter, second the caller stores return address and old value of top underscore sp into the callee activation record, the caller then increments top underscore sp to the position as shown in the figure, you can see here the, in this figure 7.7, .7. that is top underscore sp is moved past the caller's local data and temporaries and uh, callee parameter and status field that we know already discussed about in the activation record the callee saves the register value and other status information the callee initializes its local data and begins execution so uh, a suitable corresponding return sequences the callee places return value next to the parameter so as here you can see here is the place so using this machine status field the callee restores top underscore sp and other status other register then branches to the return address and the caller places placed in the status field. Although top underscore sp has been decremented the caller knows where the return value is the relative current value top underscore sp that is the top underscore stack pointer the caller therefore may use that value. So access to non-local data, so there can be situation that we want to access non-local data and to access the, we may need to find the data which is in procedure P but uh, does not it belongs to P. So access becomes complicated in the language where the procedure can be declared inside another procedure. C language does not permit but um, ML language permits both nested function declaration and function can take function as an argument and return function as a value. So for language that we, uh, that do not allow nested procedure declaration, allocation of a storage of variables and access to those variables is simple. First, what we can do? A global variable is located as a static storage. The location of these variables remains fixed and known to compile time. So to access any variable that is not local and to the currently executing procedure. We simply use a statically determined address. Second, any other name must be local to activation at the top of the stack. We may access these variables through the top of top stack pointer at, of the stack. Next, we talk about access link, the direct a direct implementation of normal static scope rule for nested function is obtained by adding a pointer called access link to each activation record. If the procedure P, P is for partition, is nested immediately within procedure Q, quick sort in source code, then access link in activation of P, 
that is the partition points to the most recent activation queue. Note that the nesting depth of Q must be exactly one less than the nesting depth of P. Access link from chain from activation record at top of the stack to sequence of activation at progressively lower nesting depth. For an example, if we consider this example, we have the sort function. We are calling the read array function, exchanging here quick sort and full partitioning. We are doing fund partition function. We are calling function. So the first letter simply indicate that so this part we have already discussed read at a quick sort how it works simply here we will discuss about the access link in the next slide so here we have the first uh, here we have s that is the sort function access link a is an array and q is the quick sort access link and v is the partition value second part we have so if you is this access link is connected with this one and it can access this value did this access link of this part is connected to this one so here this is the static part and it can be accessed here so in this way the link is provided from the global part so this is the basic idea how we can access uh, from each and every function to a common va value or variable so here is one of the example this is the exchange function, this is the partition function, this is the quick sort function, this is the quick sort function, A is the A is an array, S is the sort function, V is the value partition, value partition in each case. So this is the basic idea how access links are used. So the access link of the quick sort here. So this is explained here very clearly.